Hey, thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone, and welcome to my channel. Today I have a 2001 Ford F350, I think, that came in uh, with some brake problems and a check engine light. So I scanned it, and we have a code uh, P1247, turbo boost pressure too low. I'm going to show you what I found visually, and then we're going to test for it. But before I do that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell. You get notified of all my future content, which you definitely don't want to miss. Let me show you what I found. All right, so I got this, uh, this, this has about 213,000 miles on it. And what I found is, oh, climb up in here so I can show you what I found. Okay, so we found several things. Uh, first thing I looked at, obviously, ICP was not leaking. Uh, I don't see any visual leaks here that would cause the boost issue. Uh, charge air hoses look good. You might see a little bit of smoke rolling through. That's because I started to test it to make sure we were hooked up right. So we're looking at one to the cack tubes and the other. Now here's what I found over here was I found a whole lot of oil all over the turbo, the turbo boot right there. So there's still a little bit of residual smoke right now and I, we just diagnosed it just right there, you can see it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a machine to test this. We're gonna use my speed smoke machine here from Redline Detection. Now this speed smoke machine, it has a dual function. It has an EVAP function and it has a turbo function. So you notice on the EVAP side, all we have is a gauge and that's it. And a light to tell you if we're testing and a flow gauge right here, okay? On the turbo side though, much more intricate because a turbo needs more, it needs more air pressure to test. So we got liquid filled gauges. You can see the liquid moving, right? That's the top of the line gauges. So what we have here is we have a pressure regulator. And we have our test pressure. And then if you wanted to use a flow gauge, you can. Uh, I never found it to be uh, effective for me. So the way you hook this up is we're gonna go right into the air intake. Now normally you would come into the, into, into the end of the air boot uh, but because of this, you can't. We have a PCV chamber right there that goes directly into the valve cover. So what I did was I shoved my power intake down the tube there in front of the turbo. Now it's got three things hanging off of it. One is a cable because this machine can produce, I think, up to 25 pounds of air, which if this came loose, would send this just to fly in. So we have, then we have two hoses. So we come here. So we have a blow off valve right here. This is a regulator. This will blow off if you exceed the pressure. So you don't blow anything up. We have a port right here to introduce air with a tire chuck. And we have a quick connect for the hose here. Now, if you're using the EVAP side, the EVAP side is a lot different. You have a little pumper ball and you just have a little, uh, little uh, metal nipple that goes in because it's only like two and a half pounds of pressure. So we have this hooked up. And now we're gonna come over here, we're gonna turn it to turbo. And now we're gonna check for a boost leak. So I've already turned this regulator, but normally you would have it turned all the way down and you would hit vapor test. Now the red light shows you that it's on. You can hear it running. It has its own compressor. So I'm only using like four pounds uh, because I found this really quickly. It was a really, really big leak. So now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna look at what, what I can see is that this clamp right here, you can see the air. Look at the amount of smoke barreling out of that. You will not see that much smoke for an EVAP machine. Or even if you get a cheap EVAP tester off of Amazon or whatever, you will not see that much smoke. Now EVAP leaks will also push that much smoke. That's why it's beneficial. So this right here has a bad O-ring right there that we need to replace and recheck. And that's where all this oil is coming from. So that's why this machine is so beneficial. It's gonna hit vapor test, it's gonna turn off. Turn it off, and that's it. And then to release this, all we're gonna do is just push in the Schrader. Let me show you what this looks like out, so I don't forget. I'm a flat rate guy here, and I gotta do a lot of other work. So this is what it looks like right here. 
Now, Redline Detections also has two other uh, of options available for this, and they're larger. They get bigger. You can use them in tailpipes. The only other thing I didn't show you right here was it just hooks right to the battery. That's it. Super simple. No air hose needed. So now let me get that O-ring sold and we will recheck it. Now on this one, the reason that the boost leak is so bad and the reason that you see all of this oil is the air comes in right here from the air filter. It's coming in here. It's going to go into the turbo, get compressed, and it's going to push it up the compressor housing up into the compressor housing, which then splits off and goes on the hot side, goes around to the intercooler and comes back. Well, it's losing a whole bunch of boost right here directly off the turbo. So it's not building enough power. So that is how this system works on the 7.3. Customer's not fixing this diesel here, so we're just gonna have to roll it the way it is. But at least you got to see the easiest way how to test for a boost leak using the speed smoke machine and the power intake. And I think that you will feel comfortable doing this if you have a proper smoke machine for testing this. Now this works on, on a gasoline turbo vehicles, it works on anything. Uh, the difference is an EVAP line is this big. Well, a CAC tube, even on a gasoline vehicle, is the inside is about this big. On a diesel, it's about this big. And so you have these tubes that are really long. And in order to fill that big tubes like that all the way through the intercooler system and everything, you have to have a huge volume of smoke, not to mention the, a, a pump to push it. So if you can't produce that much smoke and push it fast enough, you're not going to find a leak in a, in a turbo system, in a, in a boost system without a proper machine. And that's why this speed smoke machine is so great in doing this. Not only does it show uh, very small EVAP leaks, it shows with a lot of smoke. So you have a better chance of finding them quicker, which makes you more money. So thanks for watching the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell. You get notified of all my future content, which you definitely don't want to miss. See you next time.